Hey, I'm Jeff Phillips and thanks for tuning in this week. If you're planning to do a renovation or build a custom home, today's guest I think you'll really be interested in hearing from. Today I have Alicia. And Alicia, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for inviting me. Yes, you're welcome. And now why don't you explain to the viewers a little bit more about yourself? Yeah, um, I'm an architect. My name is Alicia Raveto. I'm, uh, I live and work in Chatham County. Um, an architect is, a, I see it as a facilitator of a design and construction process of either a renovation, a home, any other type of building. Um, I always see my, um, my impact as, um, as a holistic approach so that um, I try to listen to the client and understand what their needs are and then come up with some solutions together that will lead to their desired project. Okay. So why don't you explain in general terms uh, for myself and the viewer that may not know exactly what an architect does. Can you explain in a little bit more detail about what they do? Yeah. Um, for example, for any project, if it is a renovation, I will meet with the client at their home or, um, and try to find out what are the, um, the things that they are considering for this project, either um, a small bathroom renovation, a kitchen, or it could go all the way to a deep green retrofit that we'll explain later what it is. Um, if it is a new home, um, I tend, uh, I prefer to, um, to start before people select a site to help them decide on what site will match their expectations for their project. And then from the first meeting on, uh, it's a series of meetings to understand more uh, what the project is about and then draw up some solutions uh, that will be this accepted or not by the client and from there on um, go into details of how it's going to be built and draw up a set of plans uh, that will allow a contractor to get a building permit and then move on to the construction. Okay. All right. Well, um, you mentioned the word green in there and that's like the buzzword in the um, building industry yes. these days. What exactly is green? Well, green uh, can be something different for many different people. Um, I see it as, a, as this holistic approach to a project uh, where you look at energy efficiency, uh, including the exterior walls and roofs and floors of a house, uh, to the appliances, to lighting, to the mechanical systems. Um, and you are trying to be as efficient as possible so that then if you decide to incorporate renewable energies like solar, um, you will have um, the possibility of doing that either to produce electricity or to heat your hot water. Um, other people may see green as just um, using recycled materials or local materials. Uh, they are part of this overall approach to green, but they are not to me, the whole green aspect. Um, and then you can also uh, implement uh, all of the measures at once, or you can wait for something to break or need replacement, and then uh, try to make the decisions that will lead to a lower energy cost um, in your building, better indoor air quality, um, and a more comfortable space. Okay, so you kind of answered my next question, which was why use green, other than um, uh, reducing energy bills and being more cost e efficient, what, is there anything else? Uh, uh, any other reasons why? Yeah, there are things that you, you cannot put a dollar sign to it, but uh, indoor air quality is an important aspect of uh, green. Uh, people have asthma. Um, it, Americans spend 90% of their time indoors, and the indoors are fairly polluted the way we have been building until recently. Um, for example, sealing a crawl space is a first measure to try to minimize the impact of the outdoors indoors and improve not only the, the building, but also the indoor air quality. Okay. So say if a viewer is um, looking to maybe do a renovation of a home that was maybe built in the 1970s, can you go in and design something that's, I guess, making it not totally green, but much better than it was? Yeah, you can. You have a big range of options. Uh, you will start by hiring somebody to do an energy audit uh, that will allow you to see what are the weak points in the construction. 
Uh, normally, the um, insulation on the roof will need upgrading the, um, under the floor by sealing the crawl space, like I mentioned, uh, then looking at the walls, uh, looking at your lighting, your uh, heating and air conditioning, and then um, the, I will uh, work with you to, um, to design a solution that can be built that will uh, lower your energy cost, but also that will make other things work better. Maybe the flow of the spaces doesn't work very well. Um, typical buildings from 70s and early had very separate spaces, and today's living um, living arrangements are more open spaces. So normally you will start looking at how to open up those spaces so that it works better for your for your current needs. Okay. All right. So so how how do you go about making something green? Well, like I said, first I will do the I will do the energy um, energy efficiency um, things. Then look at. Um, whether the orientation allows you to have more uh, daylighting um, effectively without glare and uh, passive solar uh, heat gain for the winter and shading for the summer so that you don't get very hot and it's easy to do when it's facing south. Um, and then uh, look at if, if it is a kitchen renovation, there are many things you can make uh, decisions on, appliances that are Energy Star, um, materials that don't off gas, um, that are, are made or um, that can be um, bought in regionally within 500 miles, um, and uh, try to be very um, efficient in the use of the resources and also um, having a plan for recycling the waste. Um, and in the end, um, you will get a project that will will have a lot less uh, problems with indoor air quality. Uh, in general, it relates many times to removing old carpets that um, that of you know it has a lot of pollutants uh, typically in the space. Um, replacing lighting is a easy things to do, uh, but it's always important to look at how you can incorporate some daylighting into the spaces because they not only help you save energy but also improves the indoor environmental quality and your well-being. Very good. Well, good information, and uh, hopefully you, the viewers, have uh, gotten some something out of it. And uh, Alicia, I'd like to thank you for coming in today. But if uh, any of the viewers uh, have any questions from this award-winning architect, uh, I will flash her uh, website at the end of this video. Thank you, and see you next time.